Hello and welcome. As the AI overviews continue to reshape the search landscape, it's becoming critical for marketers and SEOs to understand how their organic keywords are being impacted, especially in terms of visibility, intent alignment, and content strategy. Hey everyone, I'm Mike Goodman. I'm a director of SEO at DAC. And I'm Dan Lauer, SEO strategist, also with DAC's SEO team. Following our recent article in Search Engine Journal, we wanted to share a practical framework that helps SEO teams analyze their keyword performance in the context of AI overviews. So what we went ahead and did was built a structured prompt designed to work with your SEM rush export. Uh, and this will help you identify keyword intent patterns. Uh, you'll be able to measure AI overview exposure with different tables and graphs and then uncover top opportunities with structured content recommendations uh, that will help you uh, for any AI overview results that you're not yet appearing in. You'll segment keywords by intent, exclude branded terms, and generate clear visual summaries to guide your SEO and content strategy. Whether your goal is to strengthen informational content or capture high value transactional queries, this process gives you a data-driven starting point. So we've also prepared a document with some of the key components of the prompt. Uh, so feel free to download that from the Search Engine Journal article and follow along. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and walk through how we would go ahead and do one of those um, for a domain. So like I said, uh, I chose cruisecritic.com. We're gonna go into SEMrush and depending on your user access level, um, I'm using the DAC account. Uh, so we have a little bit more data we can pull. doesn't matter how much data you would want to just filter it based on, you know, what keywords are most important to you. Perhaps search volume and visibility is important to you. Um, you can change however you want to be able to export that to kind of hit that, make sure that your exports under the limit that, uh, SEMrush, uh, imposes, but, um, however you want to be able to pull that data is up to you. Um, for me, I'm just going to go in, I'm going to pull the organic data for this domain, um, I'm going to actually segment by SERP features. So that way we can get a very like distilled down version of that data that's specific to the AI overview impact. So I went to the position tab. I'm going to go ahead and like I said, I want to pull data that is specific to our domain. Um, I could either pull it for the AI overviews that we rank for and we, or AI overviews, AI overviews we don't rank for. Um, and again, keep in mind, you only be able to export a certain amount of this data at at one time. Um, so I'm going to pull this one. I'm actually going to do AI overviews we don't rank for, but are appearing within the SERP. And then I'm going to just go ahead and export this list. Top 50,000 for, for this one. You could choose, again, um, something that's more specific or customized to uh, your brand. Um, however you choose. And once we get that data download, I'm going to go ahead and get ChatGPT set up. I'm just going to be using the standard 4.0 model. You can go ahead and use maybe one of the more advanced reasoning models if you choose. Um, either is fine. And with the article, we had a company that prompt. So I'm going to, on a separate screen, I'm going to pull that up. And really what that prompt will help do is just kind of give ChatGPT the step-by-step -step instructions on how it should process this data. So it's kind of giving it that information. Hey, I'm giving you an S a search um, export from SEMrush. I want you to be able to kind of um, break down that keyword, um, keyword list as well as the columns into uh, tabled views, and then run some analyses on that uh, from that perspective. It helps kind of break down that data and build into a structured format that's easier for the, the uh, large language model to be able to parse. And then afterwards, with these instructions, it will also then start building out the contextual um, recommendations within that. I'm going to go ahead and copy this in. So I, I have the evergreen prompt that we have accompanied with the article. Um, in a separate screen, I went ahead and pasted this in. And what you'll want to do right away before you start you know, engaging with ChatGPT, make just make make sure you go ahead and update it with um, your company branding or website information. So for Cruise Critic in this instance, um, I replaced that with um, instructions on, you know, what who the who the website is for. Um, I've also included just like you know more detail on that here. And then there's a section in here just to remove branded keywords. This is up to you. You can um, remove this step from the process if you choose. 
Um, this is just to kind of get down into the very detailed information from a non-brand perspective of like perspective consumers, customers that would be um, going to search Google and trying to understand more about um, that category, get information, whatever it may be. So um, I've, I've indicated here as cruise critic as the branded keyword, but there's a section in here that also includes like competing brands. Uh, since they are, um, you know, they are write reviews on this sort of thing where they include the brand, uh, the brand names of like cruise lines. I'm actually going to remove this one because I would like to see some of that data um, in this analysis, but that might be different for your purposes. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and upload the file. Go ahead and do that for your brand as well. And once this is done, we'll go ahead and just get this thing running. So depending on how much data you pulled from the platform, which reasoning model you're using with ChatGPT, uh, this next part where it's processing all this information from the prompt might take a little bit of time or it may take a little bit longer. Um, just be patient with it. Um, and it might also break up the uh, process into several steps. So just kind of keep in mind that it might also ask for some more input from from you. Um, so as you can see here from the uh, from the output, um, it went ahead and took all that data from SEMrush, um, itemized it as we had asked it to by the column, a quick explanation of what its purpose is for, as well as the SEO use case. And then went ahead and took um, the intents that are also indicated within that um, SEMrush export. Um, did a little bit more um, kind of bucketing of that information, um, knowing that uh, some keywords have mixed intent inherently. Um, I asked it to kind of bucket those and are mixed just to kind of clean up the data a little bit. Otherwise, you'll have like, you'll have a really long, um, you'll, your, your data will show like every type of mixed type of intent. So that can be a little bit harder to read. Uh, so this just kind of cleans it up a little bit more. Um, Again, this was a more of a one size fits all. So if you did uh, just pull all organic rankings for your domain, uh, step five actually looks to see if AI overview is the uh, indicated um, ranking within that spreadsheet. So it'll mark it as true or false. If you just pulled keywords that were exactly marked as that search feature within Sem SEMrush, uh, all of them should be true uh, as indicated here. It says all of them have current AI overview exposure. And then the last step with that, or that next step with the keywords, looking to see if it has branded or not branded. What's great then, it then outputs uh, some high level metrics on the intent summary and AI overview exposure by intent type. Uh, then it asked me if I wanted to create some visualizations from that so that it will break out that keyword data into some charts. Um, you can go ahead and customize that part however you want, do whatever visualizations suit you. Um, interestingly, with this information, as we talked about in the article, informational queries seem to be the most impacted by this. Um, interestingly, we're seeing a lot of transactional keywords. Um, I think that's very indic indicative of whatever category or industry um, your, your brand or your client's website might be. So in the cruise category, I guess that's maybe not as surprising with people looking for information on deals, reviews, comparing different options and so forth. So that would that seems to be kind of in line with what you you know what you would expect to see within cruise. And then the last bit here, um, because we just did this um, where it was only AI overviews, it didn't generate this visual visualization since they were one hundred percent included. And then lastly, um, it broke down a content strategy recommendation by intent type. Um, a lot of this data is going to be focused on just higher level thinking as far as like how your content should be structured. Um, it might even include some quick ideas based on like what keywords it's seeing kind of appearing. Um, maybe you can have it pull from like highest search volume to lowest search volume and just have it focus on higher search volume recommendations. Again, you can also specify like whatever um, keywords are most important for your industry or your company. And I will go ahead and just kind of break that down into more intent driven um, recommendations. And then lastly, if you want to generate a one page content summary or a downloadable brief, it'll prompt you for that as well um, to kind of you know, use as something you can share with other people or kind of break it down into a more uh, formalized process that you could share with your team. And you can even specify that within the prompt as well. At DAC, we call this our total SERP approach. Um, really what it's all about is going beyond the traditional SEO to understand and influence every part of the search results page. From AI overviews, uh, featured snippets, map pack, video, images, anything that would impact search features within organic results. 
If you'd like to learn more about our total SERP methodology or how it can be customized to your business, we'd love to talk. Check out the link in the article to learn more about our total SERP approach and be sure to follow DAC on our socials to stay up to date on more AI and search related news.